Hi, uh, so we're group eight. Our project is the hybrid thermoelectric cooler. Uh, in short, it is a thermoelectric cooler which uses the Peltier effect as the main theory and concept behind this. So why don't you come over here? We just wanted to show you a quick uh, showing of the digital reading that we have here, which is a live feed of the interior uh, temperature of our cooler. So we have it open just so that we can display how quickly the temperature drops. So I'm gonna close it in just a second here. So it's, right now it's at approximately 20 degrees Celsius, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So once I shut this, we'll open this back up in a, in a few minutes just to show you how quickly the temperature drops. Um, and the Peltier effect in short, uh, if you wanna come over here, on the inside we have a thermoelectric plate lined uh, on the interior part of the wall. We have a heat sink and a fan that's dispelling the hot air from the inside. And the Peltier effect in short takes a current from our battery and dispels or, 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 or expels heat from the inside. And that in short is how the project works. And now Aja is going to go ahead and take it from here. So I'm going to tell you all the components that are in our cooler. So first we have a 40 watt solar panel. Then we have a 48 quart igloo cooler, marine cooler. Then we have a 50 amp 12 volt battery. We have a switch controller which controls the thermostat and we also have a solar charge controller which controls the battery and the solar panel. Um, all these things are put together in a specifically designed um, cart right here which is already on wheels for mobility. And as Aja had explained, uh, we have two digital sensors here that not only show the interior temperature of the cooler but also gauge the voltage of the battery so that we can get a constant reading of where, how much battery power we are running through this and whether or not we have to go in a charging mode. And the convenience of the solar panel is that this project is supposed to be a self-sufficient, uh, self-replenishing cooler. Case in point, the solar panel should be in charge of powering the battery, uh, which will continue to do that. The, the reason why we selected such a large battery is so that we don't have to rely on the solar panel's uh, use. Uh, this battery should be able to last an entire trip's worth uh, for, for you avid campers. So as John was explaining earlier, we have an assembly over here, which is a thermoelectric assembly that we call it, that has the Peltier plate in the middle. It has two heat sinks and it has two fans. So the Peltier plate is cold on one side, hot on the other side. It also has two heat sinks that go on the outside. So the heat sink for the cold side, the fan uses it to blow in the cool air into the cooler, and for the hot side, it blows out the hot air. And that's basically how it all works together. The solar panel charges the battery, which then runs the thermoelectric assembly. And you can switch the temperatures, as we said earlier, to regulate the temperature inside the cooler. Okay, and now just to briefly mention some future improvements, uh, we did decide to take part in the innovation challenge. So obviously we are going to edit this design dramatically. Uh, it's going to follow a majority of the concepts that we've got going on here, but we wanted to maybe reduce the size of this solar panel uh, to two individual solar panels, line it on the inside of the cooler, so we would be cutting holes out and then insulating uh, the top. Right now, the insulator in, uh, on the inside of the top is just air, so we want to keep as much cold air on the inside and keep as much hot air from dispelling on the inside as well. Uh, also, as Aja had mentioned, the wagon we want to adjust uh, the sizing and, and uh, the sizing and the equipment. So we were planning on using a smaller battery as another uh, addition that we hope to incorporate in our future design of our hybrid thermoelectric cooler. We want to improve the design of it as well as aesthetics to be able to make it look better as well as work better. And in short, if you guys want to come over and take a look, in just about a couple minutes here, uh, the temperature has dropped about a degree and a half and it continues to drop incrementally as time passes and the lowest temperature that we achieved uh, was approximately 16 degrees Celsius which is about 60 degrees Fahrenheit and with a bigger thermoelectric plate we hope to cut that down dramatically so right now it's a 6 amp if we bring it up to 8-10 amp which we expect to do in our future design we expect a much larger temperature drop.